<laughs> nice day out here, is it? Publishing Dick Productions, and I'm out here at the lake. We got some fellers out here. Uh, I'm always touching my hat. I don't know what about. We got some fellers out here playing tennis. That's what's up. sitting out here by the tree, and I'm getting ready to do a little, give a little uh, chat about how I feel about what's going on, and um, pretty much just the update of how I feel, how I react to some things, and what I'm learning. And um, so, check me out. So what we got here is some medication from the pharmaceuticals. Now when I have my menstrual um, at odd times in the month, sometimes it's like uh, the end of the month and then at the beginning of the month, it's really weird. But anyway, so um, I went to the doctor and they told me that alternative I could take was some birth control pills and that these pills will prevent me from having a period so I'm guessing they were saying that if I have a period then I won't have menstrual cramps which is pretty odd to me like my shoes they had a really cool someone gave them to me no I do not have money like that or whatever the case may be I'm out here poor and broke just like everybody else but hi how are you so my point is that so I didn't take the pills I've had them since oh my god April 1st, 2013 is May now. Um, so I haven't taken the pills because I figured if I'm having, if I'm in pain, having these menstrual cramps when I'm not on my cycle, then obviously it's not from my menstrual. My menstrual has nothing to do with me having cramps in my stomach, the pain and suffering that I experienced throughout odd times of the month. So they gave me these pills here. I didn't take them because... Obviously, it's not from my menstrual, so that's that. This will be going in the garbage. Um, so they also gave me some more pills. I think these were it's called Trizodone. I think these were depression pills that they gave me. Um, so I didn't take them because I figured I'm really not uh, depressed. They won't give me social security where I was really depressed before I was diagnosed with major depression a few years ago. Um, I'm looking for a job, and I heard some people from Voice Through Skull saying they don't want me to work. Um, so yes, yeah, try. They, they're, they pretty much their side effects to these pills. And um, yes, I do experience sadness, and I feel a lot of different things in a lot of different times of the day. Of course, I don't have any control over that time. Excuse me. <laughs> um. So yeah, tries the dome. They have a lot of uh, side effects to them, where you can get really even more sicker than what you already are and you're already feeling. So um, I pretty much x that out. I didn't take them. Um, so yeah. What other pills did they give me? Um, then they, I, I was given all of these at one time because I pretty much told the lady all the problems that I was having, and the doctor I went to go see again because I had asthma attack recently. She told me that. If I take all these pills and the depression pills and all these other things, it'll prevent me from having asthma attack, which I don't believe so. Um, I really don't drink or smoke often or as much, but I so happen to uh, drink a beer, a couple beers at that, and I smoked a few cigarettes, um, unusually. And I had to add, woke up the next morning with asthma attack, uh, leg hurting, stomach ache, and headache, all these things at the same time. So I don't believe that taking uh, depression pills and whatever this is surgeline tablets or whatever the case may be I didn't take any of these because I lost the guy with this for um, so we have some more pills and this one is called uh, well actually these are pain pills there's no name on them 
it just has a number at the top, the doctor's name, and just says needed. Okay, it says take one tablet uh, by mouth every six hours as needed for pain. It doesn't even have the name of the um, pain pills. So anyway, I didn't take any of these because I figured my pain is not natural. It's uh, what they say, nuclear war, nuclear weapons, uh, electronic devices are being used on me. So I figured, why should I take these if someone is causing pain in my body and taking these drugs I think would be uh, unnecessary. Well, so they gave me, a, I have another bottle here and it's called Naproxen. I'm guessing these are um, painkillers as well. So I was given all these pills here all at one time due to all the problems that I told the doctor I was having. Um, I went to the emergency room uh, a little while before that. This was on March 31st, 2013. And I had uh, some troubles and problems there as well. Um, so things didn't work out the way it needed to. However, um, so there's some more pills, I believe. I think it is. I'm not so sure. No, actually, these are uh, soap and medications and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump all this out. I'm not going to keep the medication. Uh, so the doctor, she got really, really nasty and foul with me. I just seen her um, a week ago or so for my asthma. And she looked inside the system and she saw that I haven't had an asthma attack within a year. It's been a year since I had medication, since I had asthma attack, all those different things. So now my asthma is pretty much coming back. Um, there's people in my building who have asthma and I don't think it's due to anything um, natural. I don't think it's a natural cause. I think it's all unnatural causes or whatever the case may be. Just like you have unnatural deaths, it all goes around. So, um, I think that's about it. This here. So I'm going to keep this list here with all the medications that they gave me, but I'm not going to keep the medication itself. So this is what I have here for, I have Provental. I take this for my asthma or whatever it's called. But I'm going to tell you one thing, it doesn't feel the same. The asthma that I have, that I'm experiencing now, is not the same feeling that I had before. Uh, before it was like, you can hear the wheezing sound, but this time I didn't hear the wheezing sound, but I felt something of a uh, wheezing sound. So basically, I'm going to throw all these pills inside this bag here and I'm going to throw it in the garbage because I'm not going to keep it. There's no reason for me to have this medication if um, it's not a natural cause. If someone's using devices and doing research and doing all kinds of psychotic things so that they can uh, find a way to make more money to benefit from causing pain and sickness inside of my body. So some people think it's funny, they think it's a joke, but really it's not. I mean, a lot of people are out here suffering, and, and this medication, I mean, how is this medication benefiting you if you're not really sick, if someone is causing you or using devices to make you sick? You know, I really don't understand that. So, I mean, one, two, three, four, five things of medications. Um, Taking all this medicine, I think, would have made my problem even more worse. I mean, they got the pain medication. I'm guessing this is another pain medication. Then you have uh, depression medication. And then you have, I'm not sure exactly what this is or what it's for. And then along with the birth control. So, yes, I went to the doctor with a normal, with a uh, number of problems. But I didn't expect to get all this medication. Um, outside of that, um... I was in a car accident in the year 2003 where I couldn't walk, and they still denied me Social Security. Um, now, I got to a point where I'm back again, back uh, job hunting, and I want a job. But, you know, whatever's going on or whoever's in control, whoever these people are, they don't want me to work. So, I'm going to be really patient. I'm going to keep working hard and doing what I can to make something of myself and for myself because I need an income. I'm about to be 29 years old. I need to be have a job. I need to be working. You know, I don't need to be sitting around in the house dealing with someone using devices on my body. I need that security. They won't give me social security. So therefore, I need some type of form of security in my life, whether it's financial, um, some type of income, something. So, um, I'm going to take these pills. I'm going to throw them out. Um, I definitely don't need them. There's no use for me at all whatsoever. But I'm going to take this jacket off because it's feeling really, really hot right now. So, um...
my point is that I'm not stupid. You know, I'm not dumb. I'm not the only person out here who's going through these crazy things. And I'm just pretty much speaking out for myself because I'm not going to sit up here and and uh, be silent. You know, I'm a big fan of Immortal Technique, and he made this song called where it went, "Open your voice before you die, wake up." So you know, I'm awake now, and I'm using my voice. And I'm hoping that it reaches the uh, right listeners and those who really need to hear this message and get with the program, whatever the case may be. So, um, Poetic Rose is publishing your dig productions, and I'm out of here. I'll be back, though. I'm getting ready to show you uh, what's going on. Uh, those pills.